Evening all, hope you're doing well. Right, it's a bit of a late one today, but for a very good reason. I'm off to Hogmanay later, I'm off to Edinburgh, but I've just got back from filming a future video up in the west coast of Scotland. And spoiler alert, it was amazing. That's gonna come in a few weeks. So yeah, but first off, I'm back at the, uh, Back at the Premier Inn, just outside Stirling, and I'm gonna have a bit of a rest before dressing up and getting in the car and heading to Edinburgh, which should be about half an hour drive. I'll explain more shortly about what I'm doing. So, yeah, I can't wait for this. Oh, crikey, that, uh, that journey from the West Coast took nearly three hours, and to be honest with you, I'm feeling it. But it's my fault, really, because I decided to take the longer route. Which I didn't mind. I fancied an, an adventure. I fancied going on the A83 through Inverary, Loch Gilpin and uh, Haraka that way. It's a great road, that is. So excuse the mess in here, and um, you can tell I've been in here. Uh, so. <laughs> right. Like I said, I'm going to have a rest, going to have a wash, get dressed. And I'm going to drive to Ingleston Park and Ride, which is um, one stop away from Edinburgh Airport. Then we're taking the tram to the West End in Edinburgh. And good thing about the trams, they're free for, for Hockmanay, so saves me a bit of that, so. <laughs> okay then, let's head on to Edinburgh. Okay, I've arrived at the Park and Ride. Took a little bit longer than expected because I missed the turning. Took about five, five, ten minutes longer, but hey ho, I'm here. That's all that matters. So, right, all that's left for me to do: get out of the car and get to the tram station, which is only down there. It's only about well less than two minutes walk, and then it should be about I don't know half an hour ride to the West End. Let's go. I can see in the distance there's a tram coming. <laughs> You can also see the airport, and for the eagle-eyed viewers, you can see the um, the bridges, the fourth bridges. I love seeing them. Okay, just around the corner from Princess Street now, I can see the lights. It's all becoming real now. Can't wait to get in. <laughs> so it cost me about 30 quid for the ticket. You get the QR code emailed to you. And you can choose which entrance you want to enter the party from. So I chose the West End, obviously because I've just come from the West. Pretty simple, actually. Yeah, I thought it was coming up, wasn't it? Exactly. This is. This is. Yeah. Enjoy the party. Happy New Year. You too, buddy. Okay, I'm in. Right. Food. I think that's where tonight's headliners are playing. 
but I'm not paying 70 quid to watch Pulp. I like them, but not 70 quid. It's getting a bit packed now. Crikey, those DJs look bored as hell. They really do. I've just realised who those DJs were. It's hot shit. Never been a fan of them, to be honest. Not my thing. So this up with the Christmas market. It's awesome. The Christmas has been a gone. It should be called New Year's market. Of mini market. Oh. <laughs> Nice, got a compliment on what I'm wearing. I stole it. Ooh. Ego's inflating. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, off we go. So, it's half past ten now. The plan is after I get off, I'm gonna get some food and head up to Carlton Hill for half 11. So I always go to Carlton Hill because I want to have a good vantage point of all the fireworks and the views and you can get to see all of Princess Street. It really is amazing. Right, I'm going to shut up a minute and enjoy this view and I hope you guys will too. You don't mind you don't mind being no, in my video, that's no? That's my wife. Oh fair play. You have a good new oh, year. Oh fair play, fair oh, play. There you go. That's really kind of you. Fair play. You have a great night. Hot chocolate with rich, rich cream. Can't beat it. A little bit blown away right now because I just went to get myself a burger and I got chatting to um, this lovely Scottish couple who just served me and they were and they took notice of what I was wearing and they gave me a free burger because I made the effort. How awesome is that? Scottish hospitality. A bit blown away by that. Unreal. And the burger. Unreal. Unreal. So Unfortunately, I didn't catch your names, but if you watch it, thank you so much. The burger was unreal, absolutely gorgeous. No chance. So 
half past 11, making my way to Colton Hill now. Just been chatting to a couple of Irish ladies, seemed really, really nice from the west coast. I haven't been there in years, so thank you for reminding me that I need to make a visit. Oh, well, fun fact for you. Right at the end of Princess Street, this is where the A1 starts. London to Edinburgh. That's cool. God knows where I'm going to go. Hmm. I'm not sure if you can see me. I think hearing the bad bagpipes is the icing on the cake. Can't get more Scottish than that, can you? Look at the view. I'm not sure if you can. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, you can see the bridges in the distance. That's amazing. So that's Edinburgh. And right in the distance, that's Fife. Come on! Henry! I must have ants up my kilt or something, because every time I find a spot, I just can't settle. I always try and find somewhere better. Crikey, I've got about 14 minutes before midnight. I've got about four minutes to go and I think this is the best I'm gonna get. So might as well settle here for a bit. Another 
year. Again, it was so special with the people, the food, the vibe, the atmosphere, it's amazing. Heading to my car now, but I'm not going to end the video there. Instead, I'm going to end the video at a location that's pretty special to me. joined me about two days later instead of an hour later I did come here after the street party about an hour later and I think the footage was a bit too dark so I thought tell you what I'll come back another time and do a proper outro and you can see this magnificent view properly and all, it, all its glory I used to come here um, as a kid with my parents and sister we used to have um, chippy have a chippy on the um, on the front over there and since then I've just fallen in love with the place and even when I take vacations, holidays on my own I still have to I still have to come here to me it's mandatory I've just fallen in love with, with the place it's kind of special to me it really is the thing is about this place whether you're in South Queen's Ferry or North Queen's Ferry you are guaranteed an epic panoramic view and I can just be here for hours honestly I could I think that's a train cover one. <laughs> so it's January 2nd. I wonder how cold the water is. Oh. Hoo -hoo -hoo. That's cold. Right to you. I'm going to sign off here. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, whatever you want. Share. See you in the next one. Happy New Year.